if people had more autism, things would be better. Yes, this is my theory of libertarians. Um, oh <laughs> libertarians are a little autistic, and like that's a really bad place to be. And I feel like you've got to be full blown autistic. And then you become a socialist. If you're a little bit, you wind up in this really stupid thing where you're like, uh, what if everything was voluntary? Uh, and you're like, oh, God, am I, you know, nothing. It's not. It's not. Like, what are you talking about? Property is theft. Like, read the fucking book, man. Like, um, Follow the ARGs. Yeah, they don't follow the ARGs. But, and, but this is key, right? And this is not just like a jokey thing. I mean, it is 90% jokey. But you have to... The thing about the, the tism, if it's working well, is you're able to discard, for the most <laughs> part, social assumptions, socially packed in information, you know, kind of start from nothing, you know, in a, in a Descartes, uh, you know, sort of way. I am a transparent eyeball, Matt said the other day. Yeah, that's a, that's a, th a throw thing, I think. <laughs> um, but you start, you know, from the sort of Cartesian nothingness. And, and uh, regular people, they start with, you know, they're 80% filled up with just whatever is the case of their society. So if you kind of take from that a sort of Gramscian, you inject into it a kind of Gramscian notion of cultural hegemony, right? That people are in, in a given culture, the hegemonic notions of property and justice and morality and so on are driven by the you know economy of uh, of the time. Then that means that everyone is drilled into their head certain capitalist assumptions. Yeah. And libertarians just sort of swallow those assumptions and then start constructing rationally from there, right? Yeah. Building blocks of their arguments is the entire capitalist hegemony. And yeah. everything it tells you about that's my property and that's my income and taxes yeah. and then they go from there and, and 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 they build yeah through and then and then other people are like wow that's really logical and rational they're really deducing that wait a minute if that's my property and that's my labor then doesn't that mean taxes are theft and therefore and so on and so forth yeah but that's all built on a layer of bullshit because property is a social construct the political construct is distributed through laws it's not yours in a deep way it, who it belongs to is a function of the political and economic institutions the political and economic institutions don't intrude upon who it belongs to in some kind of pre-political sense and we could go on and on there and so you know it, it uses sort of the sort of autistic logic and reasons but it's a mere it's a mere patina of autistic logic and yeah reason. but they're, they're they're still not enough to shed the whole edifice and be like no that's bullshit undertism property is actually theft the whole premise the whole premise of everything we talk about with regards to redistribution and transfers <laughs> and so the whole thing is wrong that requires the tism or you know if you could just read you could also just read books and kind of figure it out i feel like you don't have to be autistic